Good evening, race fans. Welcome to South Boston Motor Speedway. I'm Aaron Johnson with the Johnson iRacing team bringing you today's feature event. It's 40 fast laps at South Boston in the iRacing Advanced Legends Cup. Let's have a look at today's starting lineup, starting in the 14th spot in car number 10. That's John Fox racing out of the Midwest region. Starting 13th in car number 4, he's racing with us out of Club West. That is Brandon Berlant. Starting 12th in car number 13, coming to us out of California, it's Robin Ramsdale. Starting 11th in car number 6, that's the Buckeye Bandit, Jared McKinney. McKinney racing out of Chillicothe, Ohio. Starting 10th in car number 14, racing out of the Carolinas regions in the Mr. C in the Mr. Customs uh, Legends car, that's Andrew Love. Starting 9th in car number 2, racing out of Forest Field, Australia in the Puma Legends car, that is Timothy Blake. Blake will show up on your telemetry as car number two, but on your screen as car double zero. I'd let you know that wrap is a JIRT Studios, a Johnson I Racing Team Studios uh, creation. Starting in eighth in car number seven, racing out of Canada, that's Brad Etsy. Starting seventh in car number eight, also out of Canada, this time from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, in the Wrangler Legends car, that's Robin Boomsma. Starting sixth in car number three, it's Blake Crane. That's the Born to Race Legends car out of Michigan. Now your top five starters, starting fifth in car number 11, that's Eric Zimmerman. Zimmerman running the Southwest Airlines Legends car out of Frederick, Maryland. Starting fourth in car number one, that's the Exalta Legends car of Benjamin Russell Russell out of New York. Starting third in car number five, he runs out of Michigan. It's the Old Schools Motorsports Legends car of Scott Crane. On the front row outside now, starting in the second spot, that's car number nine, the Exalta Legends car of Tim Sturm out of California. And on the pole, racing out of Canada, that's the 12 car of Kent Livingston. This race, 40 laps at South Boston. South Boston Challenging Speedway, home to the Burton Brothers, Ward and Jeff. They call this their home track. They've turned many a lap at South Boston. Pace car leading the field down the back straightaway into turn number three. The lights are off on the pace car. Pace car ducks in. Livingston hammers the throttle. It's going to be Kent Livingston taking a quick early lead right behind him. That would be the five of Scott Crane. Crane going to jump quickly into the second spot. That's going to shuffle the nine of Stern back. Looks like somebody just tagged the wall. That might have been Scott Crane. Crane looks like he got up and into the nine of Sturm. That's going to put Crane out of the race. Livingston with the lead, followed now by the um, the uh, born to race car of Blake Crane rather than Scott Crane. So Blake Crane now into the second spot. That's the one of Benjamin Russell. Uh, we just went past Russell involved in that accident as well. So up front now, it is Livingston Crane Boomsma Sturm. And it looks like Blake Crane and the 12 gets sideways. The 12 of Kent Livingston smacks the inside wall. Livingston got loose all by himself there. That's going to put the three of Blake Crane out front. C Crane now leading, followed by Boomsma Livingston or sorry, Boomsma, Sturm, and Zimmerman. Jared McKinney, the Buckeye Bandit, has worked his way up into the fifth spot after starting 11th, so McKinney having a nice run here. But out front, it's Blake Crane. Crane with the lead, followed by Boomsma, Sturm, Zimmerman, McKinney, and Etsty. The Born to Race car of Blake Crane out front. Crane with just a little bit of internet lag there. He disappears for just a moment. Just behind Crane is the eight of Boomsma, then Sturm, Zimmerman, and McKinney. Let's go back through the field now that things seem to have stabilized just a bit. First car on the track, that is the three of Blake Crane behind Crane in the sec I uh, sorry, is the one of Benjamin Russell. Russell three laps down. Crane with a big lead here over the rest of the field. So Russell being shown uh, three laps down in 13th behind Russell on the speedway. That's the eight of Robin Boomsma. Boomsma in the second spot. Next car on the track would be the nine of Tim Sturm. Sturm running third. Behind Sturm on the speedway is the 11 of Eric Zimmerman. Zimmerman in fourth. And just behind Zimmerman, that is Jared McKinney, the Buckeye Bandit, running fifth in the 710 car. Behind McKinney, it's the seven of Estes. We've had another crash here, the seven of Estes. And then behind Estes, 
is uh, Timothy Blake. Blake uh, being shown in that uh, double zero car. He's currently being shown in seventh. That's the 12 just going past him with Kent Livingston. Livingston three laps down in 12th. Now behind Blake on the speedway. That's the four of Brandon Berlant currently running in eighth. Behind Berlant, it's the five of Scott Crane. Crane three laps down in 13th. Then behind Crane is the 13 of Robin Ramsdell. Ramsdell currently being shown in the ninth spot. Behind Ramsdell on the speedway, the next car is the 10 of John Fox. Fox currently in 10th position, last car on the lead lap. And we're back around behind Fox to the three of Blake Crane. Crane with a big lead moving out in front of the rest of the field. Blake Crane about three seconds ahead of Robin Boomsma. It's Crane, Boomsma, Sturm, Zimmerman, McKinney. Let's take a look and see if there's any racing action a little further back in the field. The eight and the nine of Robin Boomsma running nose to tail here. The nine trying to find his way around the eight of Boomsma. Nine now, Sturm gets a wheel to the inside down the back straightaway. Looks like Sturm's gonna try to dive in. No, thinks better of it. Boomsma did give him some room, but it's going to be Boomsma and Sturm still battling here, trying to determine who's going to take over that second spot. Just behind them, you can see the Southwest Airlines car of Eric Zimmerman moving into the picture. So we're about to have a three-car battle here for the second spot. Boomsma still trying to hold off the nine of Sturm. Just behind them, also battling for position, it's the 11 of Zimmerman and the 710 of Jared McKinney, that's the 12 of Kent Livingston, closing in on McKinney. Livingston now three laps down in 11th spot. McKinney looks to the inside of the 11. 12 goes to the outside. The 11, two wheels well down onto the apron, trying to protect that inside line. That's the fast way around at South Boston. Boomsma still holding off Sturm as well as Eric Zimmerman works to hold off the 710 of Jared McKinney. The 12 of Livingston just grabbed the wall there a bit. Livingston on the high side now trying to go by on the high side with fresher tires after getting into some trouble early while leading. This a four car battle basically for second place with a lap car in the mix. McKinney now also looking to the high side of the 11. Jared McKinney trying to follow the 12 around as the 12 has made his way past the 11 of Eric Zimmerman. That's the 9 of Sturm being shuffled up. That may open the door for the 11 of Zimmerman. So Zimmerman looks to the inside of Sturm. Looks like he's got a couple of wheels underneath. Can he pull off the corner well enough to get past the 9 of Sturm? Looks like Zimmerman may be able to do that. And that's also going to open the door for the 710 of Jared McKinney. McKinney looks to the inside of Sturm. Sturm getting shuffled back now. He's out of the groove and up on the high side. And that's going to be Jared McKinney also finding his way past the nine of Tim Sturm. Now it's a three car battle for second as the 11 of Zimmerman jumps to the inside. Looks like McKinney just got into the eight of Boomsma. So McKinney's gonna move up into the third spot there. A little bit of contact, one of those racing things, I suppose. Out front, it's Blake Crane followed by Zimmerman, then McKinney, then Tim Sturm. Blake Crane with the lead, Zimmerman second, McKinney third, McKinney all over the back bumper of the 11 car, looks to the outside, Jared McKinney with a good race car, but Blake Crane running away, we're at the halfway point, and Blake Crane leads. The five of Scott Crane has come into the picture, Scott Crane also a quick race car, he is three laps down in 12 spots, so a lap car here. Uh, working his way past some of the leaders, the lap car on newer tires gonna be a little bit quicker. Um, so that's going to be Scott Crane trying to find his way around McKinney and Sturm. Oh, sorry, McKinney and Zimmerman. Out front, it is all Blake Crane. Blake, Blake Crane now with a big lead, about five seconds ahead of the second place car of Zimmerman. Blake Crane basically out for a Sunday drive. Crane closing in on the eight of Robin Boomsma. Boomsma, the last car on the lead lap, currently sits in the 10th spot after that contact with Jared McKinney. Let's have another walk through the starting field. We're on lap 24 of 40, and out front, 
It's the three of Blake Crane. The next car on the speedway behind Crane is the 12 of Livingston. Livingston three laps down in the 11th spot behind Livingston on the speedway. That next car, the 11 is Zimmerman. Zimmerman right there with Jared McKinney. That's the 710 running the high line, trying to find his way around McKinney. And then just behind McKinney, that's the five of Scott Crane. Crane three laps down right now in the 12th spot. Next car on the speedway behind Crane is the seven of Brad Esty. Esty has moved up into the fourth spot. He uh, started out in eighths, working his way up some. Esty currently being shown in fourth behind Esty. The next car on the speedway, the double zero of Timothy Blake. Blake currently shown in the fifth spot. Then behind Blake, that's the nine of Tim Sturm. Sturm currently running in sixth. Next car on the speedway behind Sturm is the four of Brandon Berlant. Berlant currently being shown in the seventh spot. Behind Berlant, that's the 10 of John Fox. Fox currently running eighth. Next car on the speedway, the 13 of Ramsdale. Ramsdale being shown in the ninth spot. Behind Ramsdale, we're back around to the three of Blake Crane. Andrew Love and Benjamin Russell have both withdrawn from the race. That leaves 12 cars on the speedway with Blake Crane holding the lead. 12 laps to go. Blake Crane out to a big lead. Crane leading by just over five seconds. Zimmerman second, McKinney third with Brad Esty fourth. Jared McKinney and Eric Zimmerman have been putting on a little bit of a show back here with a three, three car battle with a five car of Scott Crane sort of in the middle. Crane has worked his way around Jared McKinney. McKinney starting to fade just a little bit. I think that high line might have given him some trouble running up high, maybe driving into the corner a little deeper. That might use up some of the right front tire there. So I think McKinney beginning to fade a little. Now the five of Crane going to try to make his way the, around the outside of the 11 of Zimmerman. Crane, remember, is a lap down. Crane finally gets a wheel underneath. Will he hold it? Looks like he backs off so crane backs off looked like he might have been able to dive in and get around the 11 nice gesture there by crane did not race these leaders too hard he is making it difficult for jared mckinney right now effectively running interference for zimmerman but that's the way the cookie crumbles uh, sometimes you just got to be faster if you're going to get around out front it is still the three of blake crane that born to race legends car that orange and black car running up front doing a nice job it's blake crane all by himself, there are seven laps to go. Crane comes out of turn number four onto the front straightaway. Down the front straightaway, past the start-finish line. Six to go this time by. It is all Blake Crane. Crane, out of two, down the back straightaway. Touches the outside wall. You think he's not driving that race car hard? Think again. Blake Crane pushing that race car hard, even though he's got a six-second advantage over the second-place car of Eric Zimmerman. Crane. Down the back straightaway, there are five to go. Now through the center of three and four, out onto the front straightaway. Blake Crane closing on the 13 of Robin Ramsdale. Ramsdale gets a little bit sideways. Four laps to go this time by Blake Crane. A very quick race car closing in on the 13 of Ramsdale. Ramsdale currently on the lead lap, but in eighth spot. Crane takes the high line through turn number two, lets that car roll through the center of the corner, now comes out onto the back straightaway. Looks like he's got a or front straightaway. Looks like he's got a really good race car. Blake Crane, three to go, trying to find his way around the 13 car of Ramsdale on the high side. Looks like Blake Crane's going to get that done. Down the back straightaway now through the center of three and four. They touch. Blake Crane almost crashes, manages to hold onto that race car as he's racing a lapped car. Blake Crane is going to lose some of his lead. A little bit of damage there on the left front. You can see that on the uh, race car of Blake Crane. Crane's still a pretty quick race car as he goes down the back straightaway. Two to go. Crane will take the white flag this time by. Nearly has a disastrous encounter with the 13, but holds on to it. White flag now for Blake Crane. Crane through the center of one and two. Now out onto the back straightaway. He's going to keep racing that 13 car, or is he going to be content to take the win here as the lead shrank from about six seconds to about five seconds over Jared McKinney and Eric Zimmerman. Blake Crane takes the win. It'll be Zimmerman in second, Jared McKinney third, Brad Esty fourth, Timothy Blake will be in fifth, with Tim Sturm in sixth, John Fox seventh, Brandon Berlant eighth, Robin Ramsdell the last car on the lead lap in ninth, and Robin Boomsma rounding out the top ten. That was a great race this evening from South Boston Speedway. Blake Crane with the win. Jared McKinney of the Johnson I Racing team comes home in third. 
Uh, overall, I think a pretty good performance here for Blake Crane. That'll do it from South Boston Speedway. For the Johnson I Racing team on the Johnson I Racing Network, this is Aaron Johnson saying, go fast, turn left, have fun. <laughs>